Hi Kingdom, welcome back. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And today, huh, I am, I hope you are ready for today. And what I'm about to tell you, the gems, the exposure, the truth, the sneaky side of the narcissist. So I don't know if you want to go and fix yourself a drink. You might need it for this one. Um, get, get a glass of wine. Make a mimosa. Listen, you might even need a little shot for what I am going to tell you today. So go ahead. Um, we'll kill a little time so that you can run and do that or just take the phone with you as you are making your cocktail. Um, but today is this right here. This you need to be sipping. You know why? Because I'm about to spill the tea. And I'm not holding back today. I'm just... I'm just dropping it. I'm just going to tell it the way it is. This is um, things that I have seen, uh, things that I have suspected, things that I have um, heard about. Um, so we're just going to just put it all out there. We're just going to just tell it as it is. Um, so like I said, today we are, um, I'm going to talk about um, that sneaky side of the narcissist, maybe things that you might have suspected, um, but you never really had any concrete proof. Um, so today will probably be your confirmation to let you know that what you had suspected is absolutely true. Um, and if you are still with the narcissist, when this video um, occurs, um, you, we going to have to get you in prayer, um, because we don't know what your narcissist is involved with. Um, but these are the things that are actually happening that they are doing and they have no shame. And they, one thing I will tell you about, um, most narcissists, not all, but most, they have this mindset that they are the most intelligent, smartest, brightest people in the world, and that everyone else is dumb, stupid, and is clueless as to what's going on. And a lot of that has some truth to it, um, but today I'm exposing it. I'm not holding back. And it's where you have to put prayer in place that if these things are happening, um, you want to be in a prayed up mindset that God is going to show you the answers and you won't have to wonder. Um, so hopefully I gave you a little time to get your, your cocktail, your wine, your mimosa, your drink, whatever it is. Okay. But so let's hear, let's go, um, grab a seat. Cause you, I'm, I'm bringing it today. Um, I hope you're ready. So I wrote it, these things down because it's a lot and I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, and if I did miss something, go ahead and, um, put it in the comment section and I'll go back and I'll, I'll do a, an additional video to add on if there's something that you guys can think of. Um, but so a lot of narcissists actually live a double life. They will have um, a husband and kids one place and they will, or a wife and kids one place, and then they will have a complete same thing somewhere else. They'll have a girlfriend that is expecting a child or has a child or, a, a, well, the, a woman can't hide a child, but a woman can get pregnant by someone else and make the husband or the living boyfriend think that it's their child. So these are the things that are happening. These things are 
real life events that people are going through and some of them don't even know. They don't even know that they're not the father. They don't know that the husband has um, a, a wife or maybe even, a, a, excuse me, a girlfriend or maybe even a wife um, somewhere else because we don't know where their minds go at this point. But sorry, my alarm was going off. Um, but these are the things that they are doing. So if you've ever had that suspect, su suspicion that your narc is living a double life, I'm going to show you in the end how we can get you to get the answer that you need. Um, so I am hope I got to put that in my memory that I need to uh, tell you guys about that. So they live double lives. Um, so they will put... Uh, devices in your home to listen to you. They'll put hidden cameras. They'll put trackers on your vehicle so that they know where you are at all times. Um, they have to know what you're doing at all times because they don't trust you. And the reason is because they don't trust themselves. So you may have where they're actually listening to everything that you do in your own home or in your car, they know exactly where you're going. Um, so that's something that if you need to pray on, I'm gonna tell you how to do that in the end. I'm just gonna drop these down and then we'll go over how you can find out. Um, they will actually follow you or have someone else follow you. Um, they'll hide, they'll park the car and hide in bushes just to watch you. Um, they will uh, come into home and hide in closets and things like that. And you don't even know that they're there just so that they can listen to you. They'll walk in quietly just so that they can hear and figure out what you got going on. And they'll listen. And you have no idea that that's what they're doing. So if these things are resonating with you and you feel like, wait a minute, I think that these things are happening Hold tight. I'm going to show you exactly how to um, figure out if these things are happening. Um, so uh, let's see. Uh, they'll have friends um, befriend, befriend you. A lot of times these friends are actually people that they are actually sleeping with. Um, and they, they, they are so manipulative that they don't, the person who is spying on you um, they're sleeping with your narc, and the person now will come and run back and find out everything that you have going on and then run back to the narc and tell the narc exactly what you have going on. And you have no idea that they're sleeping with your narc. Um, <laughs> these, these, oh my goodness, it's just, it's really scary. Um, I wrote something here, I don't even know what I wrote. Uh, they will um, sleep with the same sex. Um, they will have uh, same sex relations and you have no idea. So let's say it's a man. Um, your narc is a man. He will, uh, some of them, not all of them, but some of them will sleep with uh, the same sex. They'll have that, that hidden uh, agenda behind them that they will have uh, that double life um, with their, instead of just coming out and saying that this is what they are, listen, I personally, in my opinion, what you do with your life and who you sleep with is absolutely your business. But you, it is your responsibility to tell someone what you have going on. If you're sleeping with the same sex, let that person that you're with decide if that's something that they want to do. Now, that's not my thing, but if that's your thing, um, go ahead, but be honest. I feel like if people are honest, they will get ahead, but we know that narcs do not know how to be honest. So they will sleep with the same sex. Um, scary, but it's a real thing. It's happening every day to people. Um, they use sex as uh, manipulation. They will, um, when they want something, they will uh, come up with these uh, 
things to do sexually to get you to give them what it is that they want. So if they want a new car or if they want a new watch or a new pair of shoes or whatever it is, and they want you to get it for them, they will uh, entice you and manipulate you with sex in order to do that. Um, they, now, this is something I definitely want to um, bring to your attention. So if your narc, you and your narc have been together for a while, and while during relations, you guys typically normally do the same thing all the time. If your narc now is coming up with new positions, new things that's happening, and that's never happened before, that is an absolute sign that they are sleeping with someone else and these ideas have come from someone else. Or, you know, they may be watching uh, porn, um, but most of the time that is not the case. The case is they are actually sleeping with someone else, they're cheating with someone else, and these things are something that the other person has shown them, and now they're going to bring it home to you and show you. This is a big sign that they are definitely has someone else on the side they're definitely um uh cheating uh they will also um i have a i have a old co-worker this is really crazy but um she was a narc I, when i found out after i found out what the narc was i said oh okay i know what now i knew what her problem was but my um old co-worker um had this thing where she was married, I think, like five or six times. And she, one day, she laughed, and she was talking to me, and she said, yeah, every time I get married, I take out an insurance policy on every single one of them. And I was like, what? I said, why would you do that? And um, she said, oh, because in, um, in case anything, if they die, um, I get their money. Um, so whether I'm divorced from them or not, as long as I keep up the premiums on the um, the policy, um, I'll reap the benefits. And I thought to myself, what? I was like shaking my head, and I'm and she's la she was laughing. This is what I'm telling you. Narcissists will expose themselves. You have to be the one to listen. You have to pay attention to what they're saying. Now she was just she wasn't hiding it. She wasn't telling me that someone else was doing it, but maybe to her mate she was telling her mate that someone else was the one that was doing these things when in fact it was her. Um, you know, I talked about that before, but she was very bold in, in letting me know that she had no no shame in taking out, I think she had like five or six different husbands and she took out, she had policies, she said on every single one. Um, in my mind, I was thinking, what what's the guarantee that you're gonna, they're gonna, um, you're gonna outlive them. Maybe you might, pass away before they do but anyway it's not my business but I just want to um, let you know that these are the things that they do do um, and then there's something here I'm trying to figure out what this is um, oh uh, so my narc one day um, this is after he had left this is after he had tried to come back and um, I said no there's no way so the the uh, flying monkeys started occurring and then uh he was stalking us um so one day i'm coming back i pull my car i always back my car into the driveway don't ask me why but i do i like when i'm leaving um that i can pull i right out and i can just you know i don't know it's just a thing that i do <laughs> i love to back into my driveway um into my garage excuse me so i backed into the garage I got out the car and I noticed that I noticed this uh, person. It was the weirdest thing. It, they had on like somewhat of a wig similar to this, but it wasn't as poofy. Um, it was, you know, curly and big. Uh, the person had on sunglasses. And then what, this is what really had me like, what? I, I, I didn't never equated or put that, that it was my narc, excuse me, the narc. Um, so what had it really, the, they had a hat literally sitting like on top of the wig. And I was like, I looked, I said, what in the world? And then when the person saw me, this is how I knew it was the narc. As they drove by, they did this. 
Now, where I live, I live in Florida. There is no homes. I have my house is sitting all by itself. All by itself. So it's not like the neighbor's house was next door and they were hiding from the neighbor. I don't have an immediate neighbor on either side. So, but what made me realize that it was the narc is as I looked, because I was laughing, because I was laughing about the the uh, wig on the top of the head. And, oh, there's another alarm. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, so the hat sitting on top of the head is what made me pay attention. And then when this occurred as they drove by, I said, okay, I know exactly who that is. So what would be the reason why was someone would have to wear the dark sunglasses, a big old wig, a hat on top of the head, and then as soon as they're driving by me and I'm the only one out there, they do this. So they, they will come up with the craziest things just to spy on you just to they they will hide behind things they will do whatever they have to do to figure out what you have going on and the reason they're doing that is because they don't trust themselves they are in, involved in all of these crazy uh things that they have going on and instead instead of uh being grown and doing the grown thing and putting those childless things aside they don't know how to do that. They love, it's the excitement, I guess, for them. Um, the games, they love it. You know what it is. Um, but I promised you, um, and I'm hoping that I didn't miss anything. Um, let me just double check. Oh, so they will call your family members or your friends, and they will make up these stories and these lies about you. Um, and they will make... Uh, it seem, and they'll tell their family and friends that they're worried about you and that you're acting crazy and then they'll come up with all of these lies. This is a, a, a sidetrack. They, why they do these things, I have no idea. Maybe you guys can help with that one, but they definitely do do that. Um, you know, call their, your loved ones and friends. I guess they want sympathy and empathy um, that, you know, they're, which they're the ones that are crazy. They're the ones that are doing all these uh, absolutely crazy things to you. Um, but it's, it's insane. But this is what they do. Um, this is another one too. Um, and this is something that I 100% know, know uh, which is why God removed this person from my life. And I say, um, it was a video, I said that um, I really believe that the new supply, um, the new supply thinks that I hate her, um, but she has no idea how grateful I am to her because um, she saved my life. Um, so God uh, removed this person out of, my, out of my life and how he did it was he sent the new supply um, to be a distraction to get this, him out of my, to remove him out of my environment and out of me and my kid's life. Um, but they will make plans if they're the uh, the really twisted kind, they will make plans um, to, to kill you. They will come up with things in their mind and they'll sit down and they'll drum up uh, if, they, if they're, they're tired of you and they don't know um, how to get you out of their life, um, they will come up with these ideas. But we have got to put God in the forefront. And I'm going to show you how you can know everything that's going on. So this is a tip that I use all the time. Um, when you want to find out what and get an answer, I already, I always talk about discernment. So we, we definitely want to pray for discernment. But what I do is um, I will be silent and I will be still. Okay. Um, be silent and be still. And uh, this light is driving me absolutely insane. 
I have this, uh, there it is. Okay, so um, they, what you do is you go, I usually go into my bedroom because that's my space. Um, and what I will do is I will either sit or I will stand still and I will just close my eyes. And I'm gonna show you what I do so that you can do the same thing. Um, but what I'll do is, and I'm gonna talk while I close my eyes. But what I do is I go into my room and I make sure that everything is quiet, that the TV is either off or silent. There's nothing in the background and I will close my eyes. And I will focus on me getting the answer that I need. And I will just tell God, God, show me and reveal to me. And whatever it is, let's say, um, show me what's going on. Like when I found out about the new supply, um, I, I knew something wasn't right because the behavior was different. He was very cold and very callous. He was ignoring me, wasn't talking to me. And it, it didn't add up because there was no we weren't arguing or anything like that, but his behavior was, he was very distant. And so um, I knew something was going on. I, I never thought that because the pattern for him didn't change. He was still coming home at night. And he was home every weekend. Um, so what I did is I, cl I closed my eyes. He had came in this evening and um, he came in, he didn't say anything and he went in the a shower and I said God what is going on something is going on and I remember closing my eyes and I said father show me what is going on why is his behavior different why is he being so cold and so callous to me and I stayed humbly quiet Show me, Lord. Show me what it is. Give me the answers that I need. In the mighty name of Jesus. Show me, Lord. And I did that. And when I opened my eyes, now it doesn't always happen immediately. Um, but in my case, for that instance, I, when I opened my eyes, um, God said, check his phone and I'm not going to go into all of the I, I checked the phone found the phone and then that's when I found out about the new supply but I'm just showing you that you can channel your answers you can receive your answers and all you have to do is to be silent and tell God what answers or to show you do they have a tracker? And if they have a tracker, say, you know, if you think you're being tracked, say, Lord, show me where the tracker is. And then when you're done, if he doesn't give you the answer right away, leave it alone, give it to him, and then he is actually going to show you, in this case, we'll use tracker. He's going to show you where the tracker is, or he's going to have something happen that it is literally shown to you. But you have to ask him the question, and he's going to give you the answer. Like I said, he may not give you the answer right immediately. If he does, that's even better. Um, but just know that you're going to get the answer. If they have hidden cameras in the home, if you want to know about that, whatever it is, all of the lists that I just gave you, if you just tell God what you are wanting, Lord, reveal to me what my partner is involved with. Lord, show me and reveal to me everything that I need to know and quiet yourself and quiet your mind and speak out loud or even in your mind exactly what answers and what it is that you want. And he is going to give it to you. And you're going to come back to this video and you're going to say, it worked. It worked. I found out I knew or this is confirmation. I always suspected that these things were happening. 
um, and this is your confirmation. So I hope that this helps. I know that this one is a lengthy one, and sorry um, about my notes, but I just wanted to make sure that I had given you um, everything that um, I had written down. Um, so I just wanna double check and make sure that uh, I did give you everything. Um, yeah, so we, those are the things that I have suspected. These are the things that I have seen. These are things that I've heard stories about other people. So um, Kingdom, I hope that this helps. I hope that this will give you um, the answers and the confirmation that you are looking for. Um, I'm so grateful for you guys. So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, go ahead and um, if you want to do a one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching session, I might, I'm going to put my email in the description area, uh, whatever it is that you're wanting to um, uh, work through or get your answers. We can come up with answers together um, and revelations together. That is something um, we can definitely do. Um, God will always give it to me as I'm talking to you. As you're telling me, I can, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, channel through me and let me know what's going on and I can um, pinpoint and kind of tell you and you most of the time it'll be confirmation for you you already know it um, but it'll just be confirmation to you so my uh, email will be in the description area uh, remember that you are a part of the kingdom remember to like share comment and subscribe I really hope that this helps I hope that this um, gives you some insight on what they are involved with or the things that the kind of lifestyle that they live um, their interest is only to supply and um, feed their inner uh, greed and their inner uh, they want to be the ones to uh, what am I looking for they want to be the one that is always ahead. They they love these games that they play. Um, you know, it, it, it's the same thing. Nothing changes. And um, I hope this helps. So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember that you are part of the kingdom. And I love you and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.